Hi, I'm Corn Man, and welcome to Pretty Good Corn. Tonight we're going to make Mexican corn. Mexican corn is also known as elote, which I'm sure is not how you actually pronounce it. And I'm pretty sure that it just translates to corn. To prepare your corn for the grill, you need to soak them. I've got some corn here. You want to peel back the husk and remove the silk. Make sure you don't completely remove the husk. Find a section, peel it down, but not off. And then you just take the stringy shit and get it out of there. Easier said than done. Don't uh, don't worry if, if it's you got a little left in there. It's not a big deal. We're kind of getting to the end of the corn season, so this corn is probably just okay. Probably a little bit old. No problem. All right, good enough. Okay, most of the silk's gone. Take your husks and put them back. Take this upside down and put it in a pitcher and fill it with water. But what, what this does is by soaking the husks, it uh, it lets you grill them longer before they erupt into flames. And uh, I, I recently ran a home experiment on what that would be like, and it, it really does just catch on fire in a terrifying kind of way. So uh, watch out for that. Sage the housewife wisdom, try to avoid fireballs. I don't know if they're all gonna fit. Uh, well, we'll see. This corn tricked me, because it looks okay on this side. Oh, there's some shit there. Gross. What do you do with it? Get rid of it. Ta da! That was a literal food hack, because I hacked the food with a knife. Oh. All right, submerge your corn at least half an hour. We'll be back in that time. Before you start barbecuing your corn, it'd be a good idea to prep the rest of the shit. Here I have Cotija cheese. It's kind of like queso fresco, but it's different. I don't know how it's different. You should read a book from your local library because I think some local libraries could use some additional support. This video was sponsored by Metropolitan Library. Man, I wish libraries were sponsoring us. <laughs> I wish anybody was sponsoring us. Take me to your Cotija. Oh, it's stanky. Whew. It kind of got a little bit of like a Parmesan smell. Stank cheese. So you get your device and finally shred it with a fork. Uh, I don't know if you can use a cheese grater for this. I've just always done it with a fork. This is gonna take me f f never. What if I used a different container? Got that stinky cheese hands. <laughs> stinky cheese hands. Whoa. All right, let's pick up the pace. It's a little bit fast. <laughs> An optional topping is cilantro. Who would have guessed? We're gonna finely mince some of it. I find the most effective way to not get cilantro stuck to your hands is just to chuck it, as you saw. We'll put that in a bowl for later. You'll also want to chop a lime. Now, I think that most likely the traditional Mexican way is just to slather this mother in mayonnaise. But we're gonna take mayo and sour cream and mix them together. Just like half and half. Couple spoons of that, couple spoons of this. Stir it up, looks nice. For my birthday, using the funds that my delightful family gave to me for my birthday, I purchased a grill. It's always important to wear protection when you use a grill. Also, you'll look like Cool guy. Oh, yeah. I'm actually in the shade, so I can't wear them. <laughs> Start the grill. Got all four? All right. I'm gonna let our grill heat up. This component here, the electric starter. I wasn't sure how it worked. If you look down in here, you can see there's a couple of wires that go to the different parts. This is the side burner and that goes to the main grill. Before I had these plugged in, well, you can see where they plug in. I held the device in my hand after putting a battery in and was like, how does it work? Well, the way that it works is you press the button and it creates a spark on the back part where those wires plug in, and I shocked myself. And it wasn't too bad, but I felt like an idiot. So maybe if you're an idiot, you can appreciate that. Drain your corn. Take your corn, one at a time, let it drip for a second, throw it on a grill. It will close the grill. We'll be rotating this periodically. And we'll try to get some char at the end. We'll be back. It's been a few minutes, we're gonna flip the corn. You can see that one just caught on fire, literally just now. It's all right, no problem. Seven catches on fire. 
Let's do that. Sometimes in life, things catch on fire. It's okay. I don't really have a moral for that. Other than everything's fine, no problem. These are my long tongs, long tong silvers. All right, so if your skin's getting charred, again, no problem. You can see just by looking at the corn, it's starting to, it looks pretty cooked. Uh, you push on it a little bit. Yeah, it's pretty, oh. <laughs> oh no, this guy keeps catching on fire. We're gonna peel back one part using our tongs, and we're gonna try to char just a little bit of this corn. This guy will be no problem because it's just on fire. That'll be easy to char. Great, everything's on fire. That's what I call a fun Friday afternoon. Stop being on fire. The main drawback of it catching on fire is you might get a little ashy, like an elbow that needs lotion. That's all right. So just a couple minutes, you get some char. Jesus, shit's on fire. Ah, ah. No fireino, no fuego, por favor. Ah, whatever, there was the oil. You got some hot corn, hot corn. Still on fire. Take your corn. Honestly, you should let this cool. We're just gonna, I don't know what the I'm doing. I'm just trying to get the husk off of it. If your corn's not on fire, you can just chop it at the bottom. Ta -da! The downside is you don't get as fancy a presentation. Like if you were at like a fair or whatever, they'll leave on the husks. Okay, so you know shit's good when you just slather it in mayo and we just throw it over the top. All right, oh boy. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, next step is your cheese. You can sprinkle it. I had a little cilantro on one side. That didn't look nearly as nice as I wanted it to. Chili powder. God damn, that's some corn. And then fresh lime. It's all over that baby. Okay, it's gonna be hot, but I'm gonna try it anyways. Holy f crap, good. Mm, shit. Man, I recommend making that. That's delicious. I, I'm, I'm gonna do a little bit of an upgrade. Uh, some Mexican fusion. This is uh, Korean chili powder. I thought it would be good all over there. It smells spicy. Um, it's weird. <laughs> Let's try it with lime. Yeah, it's better with lime. Still weird. Eh, I don't recommend that. Well, that was fun. Nice job, everybody. Made the okay. corn. I'm, I'm Phil Cornerman. This has been pretty good corn. I hope you have a, a corn-filled life, because corn is in everything forever, and so it shall always be corn. Corn. Hey, we made a Patreon. Like some of you asked us to. Here's a video we made announcing it. Give us money, please.